I know with um, that Star Wars Online game where you can you put crystals into your guns, but when it first launched, it was still bound by your kind of light side, dark side meter, even if you weren't a Jedi. You know? Yeah. Which was a bit... Which I thought was a bit weird and kind of silly, you know? Hmm. Oh, fuck. Ah, okay. To say if you remember that when uh, they did that, like if you were a dark side um, trooper or something, you had to use the uh, red crystals. Yeah, where the f where the fuck am I meant to go? Educated set guess would say I meant to go down. Down where? Ah! Okay. Dang, I have a good idea. It's down where? <laughs> oh shit. No, 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 Bloody cameras don't have a fight with me as well. Wow. I can use the engine to soften. Oh, never mind. Oh, come on. Yeah, how many times did you die on that mission, uh, Dark? The uh, the one with all those holes and conveyor belts and shit? A lot. I can imagine. Because it's not fucking... Oh, shit. <clears throat> Okay, um, well, either that was luck or a curse, it depends. Both? <laughs> oh, considering how much health I've got left. Yeah, good thing I didn't jump to that. Uh, 
Uh, I just lost some frustration. Ah! Right. Not bad now. See someone standing there, I doubt he's gonna be fine with me going in there. Doing this thing has unlimited ammo. <laughs> yeah, that's the best part. Which is again more to what like Davil was saying about they pretty much made. Uh, ja uh, Tomb Raider with Django because you don't have any real ammo or uh, kind of resources in this. Oh shit! No! Oh. Oh. Yeah, I should have been more patient. <sighs> right. Oh yeah! I'm doing homework while I'm doing this. <laughs> nice. Oh, I finished uh, watching Cyberpunk earlier. Ooh. Because I was, I was considering not streaming because I was just feeling, you know, just having one of those days where depression is just really washing over you, and uh, you know, you're not feeling, you're not, you're not feeling your best, basically. So I was just kind of yeah. like, uh, I might as well watch the last two episodes of Cyberpunk. Considering the ending, that didn't really help too much. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Without uh, spoiling it for people in the audience who may not have uh, seen it True. yet. But yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but it was still a good show. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna say, oh, I hate this ending because blah, blah blah blah. No, no, you know. It's it's not like things were gonna end up perfect. After all, this is the world of cyberpunk. Yeah, it's never gonna end. It's never gonna end in a happy uh, format. I mean, you go up against corpos and that. There's always gonna be issues. Oh shit. If it didn't move, uh... yeah, I think um, when I saw the Adam Smash, I was like, wait a minute, I recognise him because I think he appears in the uh, in the PC in the uh, in the game. Legend that is Adam Adam Smasher. Someone who's pretty much gone full cyborg, but yet hasn't gone into cyber psychosis. Which is hard to believe considering, you know? Especially if you watch stuff like um, AD Police. I think I was telling you last time about um, Cyber City 080808. That, that had some similar things to it. The thing that's in the same universe, AD Police, they also had a similar thing where a couple of the mi one of the missions was actually one of the police went nuts. And that's all because of this horny doctor. Who seriously needed to get laid? I mean, seriously. Because he was essentially, essentially just a robot. All that was left of him that was organic was his tongue and his brain. That's all that was left of him that was organic. And for some reason, she liked dosing him up with drugs to try and 
uh, calm him down. While for some reason she stripped down and rubbed herself against it because anime. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he eventually lost. Because uh... the interesting thing he did was that he would bite his tongue to kind of remind himself that he's still alive. Because, you know, he's got a robot body, he doesn't feel any pain or anything. So he bites his tongue every so often just to kind of remind him that he's alive. Unfortunately, with the, the psychotic drug she put him on, he uh, stopped feeling. So he went absolutely psychotic and just started killing everyone. Okay, that's that. Hmm? What? Remember I'm doing homework? Oh, yeah, yeah, you said you were doing homework. Yes, I'm sorry, I was distracting you there. No, I was listening to music, so I can't even hear you. <laughs> Never mind then. No, I was, I was talking about um, AD Police, which is set in the same universe as that uh, Cyberpunk. Um, no, not Cyberpunk. Um, Cyber City that I was telling you about. Where, like, a police officer goes nuts. Because all that, all that was left of him that was organic was a tongue and his brain. And he would always kind of bite his tongue to remind himself that he's alive. Because obviously having a robotic body, he didn't have any, uh, any feeling in his arms or anything else. Because it's rock and roll, so I have to listen to music. I understand that. I forgot to say. Wasn't even that high up. We I thought that recording was easy. <laughs> we didn't start the fire. Da -da -da. What is the homework out of curiosity? Um, more about um, Victorian literature, was it? Yeah. Because I think you said, what was it? it was I don't know if it was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and then it's talking about um, some movie. And the then. Prestige. That was it, Prestige. Which I had heard the name before, but. I don't think it's something I'm particularly interested in. Doesn't mean it's bad, obviously. But, yeah. Um. It's in, yeah, and they're saying about, you know, two magicians going head to head. So it might have an interesting duality between the two magicians, but. Mm. I can I can help you there, unfortunately. Hmm. <laughs> Good thing I haven't loved the attempts on the quiz. Hmm. What am I missing here? I want the shit! <clears throat> well, that glitched. But at least I hit the checkpoint. Jacko, you were right about that death stick sample. The main ingredient in death sticks is the common exotop plant. But this one's loaded with a powerful neurotoxin. No record of it. Totally untraceable. That's weird. Why would you purposely put poison in something like that? Doesn't help you sell more okay, if your I got it. addicts die. <laughs> 